this is Lisa from Lisa's Crafty Creations. If you um, are new to the channel, welcome and pleased to be able to join us. If you're coming back, thank you very much for continuing to support the channel. What I've got for you today is a lot of, lot of things to open. Mr. Postman had a parcel for me. He had lots of parcels for me. So let's start. First of all came the Diamond Painting Club. Easy way my subscription box arrived. So this is the subscription box of March. Some of this stuff I've already opened because I tried to video it yesterday and everything went wrong from the phone ringing to people coming in to Teen Ellie burning. So um, please forgive me that you're not having a true unboxing of some of the items but there is quite a few. This is another one that just came today. So there is quite a few that we can still open together. So let me just run through what was in the Diamond um, Painting Club box. We get our piece of paper that tells us what we've got, so I'll just put that there. We have our two paintings. Now the first painting is of a tiger. The two tigers in the forest by the looks of it. It's a 30 by 40 and it has 35 colours. It's a double sided adhesive and I think that's what um, easy way we're going to be. I think all of the canvases are going to be double sided adhesives, which is a bit of a shame. I think I might um, contact the company and say, is there any chance that you could look at getting poured glue canvases? And we'll see what they say back. Um, now this one, let me just have the, you, you get the diamonds are separate to the kit. So this is 4012, but the, the diamonds have the kit number on them. So you've got your kit number here on the top of the canvas and then it's on your drills here. So as you can see, this is a square diamond um, and the colours on this are just lovely. It comes already bagged up and the bags have the number on of the symbol, which is a bit of a disappointment because it can be confusing to just have a number on a bag. So what I tend to do is they all come with an inventory sheet. I'll photo the copy the inventory sheet, I'll put part of it in my log book and then the rest of it I'll use and put through my sticker maker and um, put stickers on so that the symbols are on the bags as well. So that's, so the colours we've got green, black, brown, more greens, like a, um, it looks like a very lime green in there but it goes on the canvas, it's almost white with just a tint of green. Then you've got another one there that does the same with a tint of blue. You've got your oranges, your reds, more greens, greys, greens, oranges, all the colours you'd expect to see in a painting with tigers in. You've got your black there. The squares themselves don't look bad and in the last one they weren't, there's, a, there's an odd bit of trash in there. But they look fine, I don't know whether you can see them there. They look okay, they can't see any tags or little, there's a little bump in the bottom, but as long as there's no bubbles or anything in the top of the drills, you can use them lovely and as long as there's no tags. But they look nice and clean, they look in a good shape. So let's see what results we get from this one, considering the last one was quite badly copied. The other one is the butterflies, which is quite nice. This is going to be a complete change in colour. And um, this again is a 40 by 30. Um, it's got 35 colours again, and it's around this time. And there are your colours. Again, it's bagged up for you. You've got, on this one, you've got the DMC code on the bag rather than the number, which is nice to have. I like to have the DMC code on the bags. And you've also got the weight in there, so it's done by weight, this one. There are your diamonds. Again, they look really good. Um, so you've got nice lots of different colours. This one with it being all blues and purples, that's the colours that you'd expect to see with the painting. And you've got a few creams in there as well. So some nice colours to work with. Then we have some few extra goodies. So let's see this one first. This is a 
luggage tag and it comes with the tag itself and then a nice little um, leather strap in it. It's probably false leather but it feels it's nice and soft and very flexible. Um, there's a place on the back to put your name, your address, your telephone number and your email. And then this here is all sticky on the front. The, some of the symbols are a little bit off there. You can see, um, I don't know whether you can see that corner there. Some of the, the symbols look a bit blurry. But the other ones are nice and clear. It's just in that little corner there and around where the tag, the strap goes. This one comes with its own tray. Um, wax and pen single placer and then you have your <coughs> drills now these are special drills for this one and we have there's no other cord on it so it does have a cord on the drill to, to respend with this but it doesn't have a cord on the bag so anyway you have your standard black resin drill to start with then you have your green rhinestone, a darker green rhinestone, a blue rhinestone, like a um, sea blue rhinestone, very pretty that one. Then you have a pink rhinestone, that's actually sort of like a pinky red, dark pink. Then you have a teardrop, faceted, and it's a... Um, just a clear teardrop, almost, um, oh, what's the word, it's, it's faceted so you're picking up all the colours of the rainbow and then you have marquees which are in like a aqua with purples and that in, it's the kind of colours I always expect mermaid scales to be or like fish scales lovely though those ones so that's the what you get in the kit for the luggage tag so that's a nice idea I actually quite like that idea I will do that one not that we can go anywhere at the moment but hey ho hopefully by the time I finish that we'll be able to go places now this one is let me see what it called it it is a funky dp light stars ideal for a reading nook study or bedroom and um, you put the diamonds on then you fold it like a little origami project and you add the lights to a unique addition to your environment so it comes in three sections and you diamond paint this middle section here on both sides and it's got three sections so and they're all different so there's that one there's that one and again you just diamond paint this middle section and then finally there's that one they're all pretty nice colors so they've got these three of them and then the other side I don't know whether you can see that they've got fold marks and little holes in there so I assume the lights will go where the holes are and then you fold it where all these score marks are so you might have to score it a bit more first and then you'll bend it and I imagine that will be one of the tags to glue onto another but then you have to shape it to make the the actual star so it's going to be fiddly but I'm going to give it a go I'll do one off camera so that I've got, got it there and then um, I'll do the rest hopefully on camera and show you how we can do them one, I don't want to lose it straight away. So then we have it comes with it's all branded with the Easy Whim subscription on the on the packaging. It also comes with some double sided sticky tape and lights, LED lights with your um, chargers and it takes 1.5 volt AA batteries which don't come with the kit so you have to provide your own batteries. Then you have your diamonds. We have a bag here 
which is um, like a blue, covered in glitter, like a blue glitter, iridescent-y looking glitter to it on a dome, on a teardrop. Then we have more special drills. We'll start with the rhinestones. We have silver, we have gold, we have green. Then we have a lime, well, a dark green. Then we have another, like, amber. Then we're going into your more specialised drills and you have your um, marquee with a faceted in there. So they've got like a um, rainbow effect look to them. And they're in red. Then you've got these little tiny ones and they've got like a iridescent coating. But they've also got an imprint of a star in the middle of them. I don't know if you can see that very clearly there. Don't know how the camera is picking this up. Then you've got marquees in amber. You've got some little gold domes. You've got some red, which look like jellyfied, but the, I love these. Um, and these ones are in red. And then you've got the same sort of idea, but in blue teardrops. And then a dome in the same colour. So that's the special drills you have with that. So they should turn out quite nice. Let's just hope that I can um, get it all put together. You also get a spare pair of tweezers, pointy end to come with a cover. These are deadly bees, be careful. The amount of times I've stabbed myself with those because I keep losing these plastic points here. Don't lose the plastic end. Then finally we have this, which is a wall pendant. And it's, um, it's like a leather. Like a leather, this is, this is like a leather, like a faux leather. And then you have this sticky mandala, some picture of a mandala on the front, which is very sticky. And then on, you see on the corners here, here and here, there's like a little um, indentation or mark. And I think that's where you put the chain because it, it comes with... chain here and that has two of these little clips so the clips will clip onto the side there you would tighten them and then your hook would go these hooks would go through there and I'm gonna put those on there now I think because less likely to get lost oh. no nope, forget that it's fiddly <laughs> I'll put it back in its bag all safe and sound and it should be fine as long as I make sure that bag's sealed up nice and tight which I will do there we go it's all safe and sound in there seal it up so that's your chain it also comes with a boat, some baggies, some wax and a pen. And then you have the diamonds. Now these are lovely marquees in like a deep pink large marquee. Then you have your rhinestones here. So we have lots of rhinestones. We have the red. We have a pink, purpley pink or a lilac. We have amber. Then we have the different blues. Don't know whether they're, no, they're the same colour, so we've got two. We've got twin blues, we've got a green, we've got a purple. You see that green, right? We've got a purple. We've got tri triple triplets of um brown door of brown gold domes. We have some amber marquee. We have some green. Domes, and then we have these, which are really pretty, and they're like they like almost look like an engagement ring set. And you have the stone in the centre, and then round the outside, 
it's all little tiny spikes of gold it's really pretty they look like little um, crowns can you see them so that's what we've got with that and they go all those little dome ones go all the way around the outside so that should look really pretty right let's get this back in its back and that is it that we have in the easy win subscription box we also got the standard we also got your standard um, tool kit for your paintings we get baggies we get a cheap set of tweezers your, your pen and your tray no multi places or anything like that which is a bit of a disappointment but I do have a lot of multi places already so we we'll stick that all back in there and we'll move on to the mailman's what the mailman brought me. Mr. Postman, Doc Bancy. He had a letter for me, Mr. Postman. Right, so let's check this out. Just put it at home because you can see what happens, as you can see. Um, now, nearly all of this I bought on Wish. Um. There might be a few bits from Amazon, but the majority of it I bought from Wish. Because it's the only thing that it can be quite cheap, but you've got to watch your shipping on Wish. That's the only thing. That's what gets you by surprise. But so the first one I have in my hand here comes in a pair and they're sheep. They're sheep. I don't know whether you can see that. So they're slightly different sheep. And my mum loves sheep, so I decided I was going to make her some resin sheep. So that's that. Then we have this lovely heart. And it has, in, um, like, roses, three roses in the middle. Now this, I mean, some of these moulds are designed really for icing, but I'm sure they're going to work okay with resin. And I'm going to play about with um, pigment powder and glitters and things like that and see whether I can make them a little bit nice and I tend to try and make them into cover minders or pendants something like that so we'll see how they work all experimental folks it's all experimental we then have this little girl again I'm going to try with different colours and colour layering the resin to try and get a nice 3D effect with this little girl like with a, do a skirt in a different colour and a top and then a hair and little dancy feet then we had these little tiny flowers that I thought would give a go again experiment with different colours um, and then make cover minders, little brooches, hair clips, that kind of thing out of them. See what happens with that. Similar sort of thing again with the bouquet of flowers this time. Then we have this, which I thought were nice. The com it comes in one, two, three, four, five, six different um, sizes. And it's like it comes out like a cornerstone that you would get in an old fashioned in an old property and it's all roses and flowers so we'll see how that turns out as well it might be a complete disaster but as I say it's all experimental on this channel all experimental and then we have another one then we have this big beauty now this is for resin and basically it's a bud with one two three four roses in it and then you have your leaves and your stems so the idea is you can make the different colors you can do it all one color and um, I'm going to use some pigment powder in this one and then I'm going to do some with different colors and see what we as I say experiments experiments and see how it turns out so you can watch that with me I will do that with you guys on screen 
I also have this which I quite liked. I thought we could do this in like rusts and brasses, put a little bit gold um paper on, um gold leaf. And I've got some silver leaf, we could probably put something like that on there. Um make it a little bit oldy worldy. Um nice compass. Again, it would make a nice cover minder or um, large brooch, something like that. So we'll see how that works out as well. Now then, I also got this. I like the idea of this. Um, again, it, it's I think that you layer. The idea is to layer the resin. I'm not sure. I'm going again to experiment and see what we come up with. Um, So I quite like that. I think I've got a few different shapes in that coming. All right, let's see what else we've got here. That's all of the opened ones. So let's see what we've got left to open. Oh, this is a little... We have a little tiny pussy cat. Purdy tat. Yeah, Siamese cat. That's sweet, I like that. I think that would be nice in a black. Guess what we're going to be doing today, folks? Guess what we're going to be doing? Okay, this is a, a flowery one. It's going to be difficult. I'm going to use a, have to use a little pointy tool to make sure, or a cocktail stick to make sure it goes in all the little areas on this one. Maneuver it about a bit to make sure it all goes in. sure we don't um, cut the moulds or whatever's in the package. I hate the idea of putting into it. Clever. There we go. Oh, it's a great big package for this little one. don't know what this is meant to be so we'll have to put that in a mould and see I think it's a lady yeah there's a lady's hair there it's a picture it's one of those um ladies that you get on the old-fashioned brooches oh what do they call them it'll come to me later that's what that is Oh, can't think. Come to be in the middle of the night when I was sitting there reading the book all of a sudden I go. <laughs> oh, this is a dome. Oh no, these are my umbrellas. This is the umbrella. So you've got the umbrella top there. Um and then you've got that to put inside it so that you don't it shapes like an umbrella and then you've got the hoop the little um how does that work? oh that goes inside there like that it slides inside there like that and forms a And then you would trickle the resin inside that, except it's not cut out properly there. Oh, that's better. 
so we'll have to see how that works that should be nice i'm looking forward to doing some little umbrellas something different you know and i thought we'll try some of these ice icing molds to see how they turn out these ones are i believe are teddy bears Yeah, these are teddy bears. So you put your pour your mould in there and then pull it out and you get teddy bears. And there's a girl and a boy teddy bear. Them properly. Oh, this is um, like a ring with um, roses around the outside. I thought this would make a nice paperweight or something like that, or we could even put something inside there so that it's just that just sits on the outside. The bottom's very um, thin, but um, we'll see how that works out as well see what kinds of things we can do with, do with it. Oh, then we have this, which is lots of different cogs. And I had the same sort of thing in mind with these as what I'm going to do with a compass, you know, put some gold leaf on, some silver leaf, some gold glitter, things like that. Try to make them a bit oldie worldy um, and then make cover minders out of them or um, pendants, necklaces, jewellery, that kind of thing. Some of them would make nice earrings. Then we have a peacock. Can you see the peacock? Again, I'm going to. I've ordered some pigment powders. So once they come, they're like a metallic, silvery, like, and one of them's called mermaid scales, I think, something like that. And I thought we would make nice with the peacock feathers. And then finally from yesterday, we have this one. And again, this is like that other one that I had that I couldn't remember the name of. Where you've got your frame and your frame would probably be the middle, the bit in the middle would be blue with a white lady and a white crinoline. Is it crinoline? No, it's not crinoline. That's a kind of dress. Anyway, we'll see what happens. We'll do these in white, the lady in white, and then put a blue over the top of it and see what happens. Um, but that's the idea of that. You could just do lay in layers of resin as well. So put the white on first and then put your blue on after. Um, we'll see, we're going to have a play. That, that bag empty. Now let's see what we've got in this one. This one's another mould, I think. Yep, that's another mould. What mould is this? Is this a pig? This could be a pig or a bear or I don't know. What I'll have to do is when I do them. I think it's a bear. Some kind of bear. When I do them, I'll have to put right on it what it is. So, that is all that came. 
with Mr. Postman. So we'll got lots to call here. And moles, my moles, 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 and more moles. My drawer is going to be too small. I'm going to have to make another drawer. I'll be getting wrong soon. So this whole lot cost me about £100 for everything. That was including shipping. And sh including shipping and everything, it was about, and that, it was about £100. I don't think it's bad really. Then again, looking at it, yeah, didn't seem bad at the time. Sometimes you spend this money and you, you just, you've spent it before you can even think about it. But anyway, I like this haul. I can hopefully make lots of nice things with these. And um, as I say, I'll keep you in the loop so that you can see the kinds of things I've made. We'll maybe do some together and um, I can talk you through some of the things I'm doing. And then we can have a look when I pop it out to see what the end results are like. So we're going to have some nice experiments. I love experiments, me. Experiment, experiment, experiment. And if it turns out wrong, it turns out wrong. But if it turns out right, it's going to be fabulous. Right, anyway. Thank you for watching. Please remember, if you haven't subscribed, thank you very much for coming and watching. Please subscribe. You're more than welcome. The Crafty Community is a fantastic little community. Um, and on this channel, we do all kinds of crafts. Um, if you've got any questions or concerns, please ask below. I'll try my best to answer them. Um, if you've subscribed already, thank you so much for returning. Please give me a thumbs up on your way out. And any constructive criticism is always welcome, so please put that in the comments. But please remember to keep it respectful and clean. Um, on that note, I'm going to love you and leave you. Please remember to pass on a smile if you get the opportunity to. And I'll see you next time. Bye!